what we see as a mushroom is not the whole fungus. Rather, it is just the fruiting body of the fungus. Tiny spores germinate to form microscopic filaments known as hyphae, and these hyphae, under the right conditions, will then form the mushroom, which is a fruiting mass to disperse spores and start the cycle once again. Puffballs, like this common puffball, begin as round white structures, which then, as they mature, become darker. And the genus for many common puffballs is lycoperdon, which literally translates to wolf fart. Apparently, someone somewhere felt that the odor from these mushrooms was comparable to the flatulence of wolves. As these puffballs mature, they become less edible. Some people do at large for puffballs, but great care must be taken because they become less edible as they age. And there are poisonous mushrooms which go through an early stage known as a button uh, phase in which they resemble puffballs. Uh, as the puffballs mature, they tend to darken and their outer uh, skin becomes thinner and can then develop the hole through which spores can be released. Uh, anyone who were to say touch or contact uh, a puffball would release spores, but they can also be released by falling raindrops. Spores are very different from seeds. Spores are reproductive uh, cells which essentially have no food for them. And so while enormous numbers of spores are released, you know, say 99% of them will never uh, mature to form fungi. One should take care because apparently dogs have actually died by inhaling too many uh, spores. And apparently some humans have gotten uh, sick uh, by deliberately trying to inhale large quantities of puffballs, uh, which they compressed. The resulting illness, which could result in hospitalization as fungi attempt to grow in one lungs, is known as lycoperdonosis, or literally wolf fart disease. So please try to refrain from inhaling large quantities of puffball spores uh, to avoid this fate.